the family's still sleeping, but we have a super duper busy day today. Welcome back to another video on the Audible. We actually don't have time. It's kind of cloudy. All right, so check this out and try to stick with me because we got a lot of stuff to do in today's video. It's currently 7.45 in the morning. The first thing we got to do is go drop off the F12 at Innovative Auto Works. It's getting lower today, boys. It's getting lower. It's getting lower, but we don't have the wheels here quite yet. As soon as we drop that off, we got to go jump in at Uber, come back. I don't know why I'm pointing at this. Yeah, because we got to jump in the truck and then we got to go to South Hills Lincoln and film the new and amazing Lincoln Aviator that we actually started filming yesterday, but we got rained out, so we got to continue that today. Then when the Ferrari gets back from Innovative Auto Works, it's got to go to George Riggins Specialty Automotive to get aligned. And then by Thursday or Friday, the wheels for the Ferrari F12 arrives because the tires are already here. Check this out, 335, 25, 22 in the rear. We're not playing any games. And these are the fronts, 255, 30, 21s. These are gonna be fitted on the new wheels that are arriving. They should be here by Friday, and that's when we're going to drop the car off at Wheel Connection to get the new wheels and the tires mounted on the car while it's lowered. And then, on Saturday, Ferrari's being shipped to California. I love this thing. Safe and secure. Now simple math tells us that we can't get this car out without moving this car, so what that means is <laughs> cold start, cover your ears. Then we got cold start number two, but first, wing still on there by the way. <laughs> Trickle charger taken care of. The wing didn't fall off. 2015 Ferrari F12 with open valves finally. Cold start. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we just parked in my neighbor's uh, driveway. They're, they're cool though. By the way, everyone thinks my neighbors hate me because all my cars are loud. They're the ones who are closest to us and they love it. Good morning, Pittsburgh. We're on the highway here doing eight, seven, six, five miles an hour. All right, so we made it to Innovative Auto Works, boys. We're just gonna drop the Ferrari off here real quick, man. We're in a hurry. All right, so we're picking up the car tomorrow. And the thing is, I don't know what it's gonna look like once it's lowered on the stock wheels because it's not supposed to be lowered on the stock wheels. It's supposed to be lowered with the new wheels on there. So that'll be pretty interesting to see, but now we gotta go. We gotta jump in an Uber. Michael. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, buddy. My pleasure. So I am honored to announce the sponsor of today's video, which is Vin Zero Watches. So yeah, I'll let you in on a little secret here. When uh, you know we're modifying the truck, the Ferrari, and creating all this content, it's not always cheap. So when Vincero reached out, I was very, very grateful because I do indeed love what they're doing. I love their brand, I love their watches. The one that I'm wearing today and that I basically use for daily use is the Chrono Blue Steel. But when I feel like uh, you know dressing up a little bit, depending on the occasion, maybe going out to a nice dinner with my wife and you know basically not wearing $12 Walmart shorts, I switch it up a little bit. And uh, by the way, they come in these pretty cool cases. And I mean, just check out the design of this thing. It is elegant, it's gorgeous, got a blue leather strap. And as we turn it around, this is even more badass. They have the Latin phrase, Veni, Vidi, Vici, which stands for, I came, I saw, I conquered. They also have a piece of Italian marble. And this is on the back of every Vincero watch. And even better, they also offer custom engraving on the back of the watch. So if you want something personal on there, you can get it. And there's so many different watches to choose from. They have six collections for men and four different collections for women. Now the whole thought process behind Vincero watches is of course that you should be able to wear a classy and functional watch at an affordable price. And by cutting out the middleman and selling directly to the customer, Vincero is able to keep their prices down. And what's even better is if you use the link in the description, you get an even greater savings and save 15% off your full order. So, if you find something for yourself, your wife, your daughter, your dog, whoever, you, <laughs> you save 15% off your complete order. And 
When you choose to partake in a sponsorship like this, you also support the channel, which helps me create more awesome content for you guys. So check out the link in the description so we can continue on with this video. But now, time to jump back into the truck. Let's go. <laughs> and boom, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The 2020 Lincoln Aviator. This thing is absolutely sick. By the time that this vlog comes out, the review of this will be out already. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, I think it'll be out. But <laughs> if it is, I'll leave a link for it down in the description. But look at this thing, man. It's absolutely gorgeous. But this video is not about the Lincoln, it is about the Ferrari. So uh, we're gonna go pick it up in the next clip here. That's right, we're back in the F-150, back in Wexford on our way to Innovative Auto Works. The Aviator review is in the books, it is currently live. Oh, listen to them downshifts, what? The F-12 is done and I can't wait to see what it looks like with the Novatec springs lowered. Although, it doesn't have the new wheels on, I still can't wait to see. All right, so here we are, we're back. Now look at what's in, oof, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh wow, look how low it looks. It doesn't even look good, to be honest with you, on the stock wheels, that looks stupid. Yeah, I mean, with the stock wheels, I, I kind of figured it wouldn't look very good because the wheels are too small, it's too much tire. What do you guys think? I mean, obviously, I know it's going to look absolutely amazing once the new wheels are on there. And uh, you know what? It's not that low. You know, my AMG sat lower than this. And, you know, the F12 has a lift, too, so I'm not even worried about it being too low. Look at that. Yeah. If I was, you know, not putting aftermarket wheels on, I would never have done this. I mean, it's not horrible, but it doesn't look great either. Thank God I'm getting new wheels on here very, very soon. <laughs> yeah, this would not have happened unless I had new wheels coming. All right, so just had to run in and uh, pay up real quick. Now, obviously, I could do, you know, spacers and stuff like that if I wanted to keep the stock wheels. But, like, why even mess around with that? I, I want a proper set of wheels, which I'm getting, which will fill out these gigantic uh, wheel wells. They're pretty big on the F12. So, yeah, once again... <laughs> I would never ride around like this unless I was getting aftermarket wheels. But big thanks to Innovative Auto Works. They did a great job. Apparently it's a little trickier because it has a lift. Also, you know, adaptive uh, suspension with the bumpy road mode and everything. And everything is like it was before we put the Novatec springs on here. Oh, I mean, at least I think we gotta get in here <laughs> and drive it. I'm gonna leave the truck here for now. So the reason that we're jumping around in this video, doing one thing there and another thing at some other places because uh, Innovative Auto Works, they don't do alignments on car li cars like this, but George Riggins Specialty Automotive does. And I had already set up with Chad and Wheel Connection to put my wheels and tires on. That's where the wheels are actually being shipped. So that's why we're jumping around here in case people are asking why doesn't the same shop do everything because uh, they just don't do everything. All right, so back out on the highway, I can happily say that nothing has changed in uh, the right feel of the F12 with the Novatec springs on there. Currently have it in bumpy road mode. If we take it out of there, you don't really notice a big difference here on the highway, but when you're driving around normal roads, it's a huge difference to have bumpy road mode on with <laughs> softens up the shocks a little bit. So yeah, happy to announce that no difference in the ride after lowering my F12. It just looks completely riced out on stock wheels. All right, so here we are. Take a look at this again. <laughs> what the hell? I riced up my Ferrari, look at that. Now, fun fact, in case you didn't know, when you buy Novatec springs, they're actually not Novatec, they're KW. When you buy wheels from Novatec, which I have not done, they're not Novatec wheels, they're actually Vossen wheels. So if you didn't know, now you know. So just dropped my key off to George here at uh, Reagan Specialty Automotive. These guys are great. There's a lot of uh, the guys from the Pittsburgh area that have supercars that have, you know, work done to their cars at this spot here because, as the name states, he is uh, specialized. That's why I'm coming here for the alignment. I don't know if I mentioned this in this video already because I've been running around so much. I, my mind's all over the place. I didn't know that my car was gonna be picked up on Saturday because I don't go to LA for another 
on Saturday it's like two more weeks so I was thinking maybe a week before I leave that's why everything got so stressful all of a sudden here but uh, I'm glad that everything is being handled and that I know people that can do the work for me Alright, so for the second time in today's video, we're jumping in an Uber and it's pouring down rain. And just like that, it is dry and no rain anymore, although I'm soaked. And we're back picking up the truck because uh, I gotta go pick up the Ferrari at 6 o'clock. But now we gotta go drop off the tires that are in here at Wheel Connection. And it's so much back and forth, man. I'm dizzy. All right, so we're moving quick. Just dropped off the tires. We gotta bounce again. Back to George Reagan's. Pick up the Ferrari. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> My God, is this obnoxious? the alignment done it's time to jump in and go back home and we made it home and she sits lower boy she sits lower but I can't wait to have the new wheels on yeah that yeah, just doesn't look good it just doesn't look good it needs the new wheels so why don't you guys just head over to velisdesignworks.com link it in the description try to figure out what wheels I'm putting on the F12 because the next video after this one we're putting the wheels on. It's going to be awesome. It's going to look so sick. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Vince Hero. Treat yourself to a new watch or maybe your wife or whoever it is. But I'm tired. We had a lot of stuff to do in this upload. We uh, got the car lowered. We got it aligned. We got the tires over. We had a car review done. We're running back and forth with the truck. So now it's time for dinner with the wifey. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs th 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 give it a big thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, and you want to, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.